What's going on guys? The Crypto Boss with another video on Profit Trailer. So the last video was pretty pretty popular actually, so I appreciate everybody for the kind words. And I wanted to make another video because I've been getting a ton of questions on just little things, you know, what's the dust log? What is, you know, the pending log? How do you read the sales log tab? You know, what are the pairs logs mean? All this stuff. So I just wanted to briefly go over it and kind of give you guys an overview of how my bot has been performing. And remember, I'm using Profit Trailer Feeder or PT Feeder. And I will do a video on that, I promise. I've just been super busy. So I'm going to do a video on how to set up PT Feeder. Um, I've been getting questions about setting it up with the VPS. I haven't actually done that yet. So when I do set this up with the VPS, I will also do a video on that. But for the time being, I'm just going to give you a brief overview. So on this monitoring page, you have all the information you really need to kind of monitor your, your success or your failures with this bot. And I'll just go through it. So right now, my, my bot that is running on Binance, so you can run it on Poloniex, Binance, or Bittrex. My bot right now is holding 2.297 Bitcoin which is about, you know, 4,100 bucks. Then I look at this one. This is also semi-accurate, but this one right here is total pending value. So total pending value equates everything in your account, transactions included. So right now there's a, a small discrepancy between these two, total current value and total pending value, is because there are transactions happening on the blockchain, the bot has been trading and buying and selling, right? So some things get lost in, in the blockchain for a few, you know, a few minutes because they, they have to get confirmed on the respective blockchains. So this is the number I look at, total pending value, uh, about 8,600 bucks. And this number changes because this is USD value, right? So when Bitcoin drops, then this drops because you are you are valuing your account in Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin went up to, I don't know, 20,000, this number would obviously increase because my account value is roughly 0.62. So keep that in mind. This is the US dollar chart here. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is the price of Bitcoin right now. This is the trend in the last hour, last 24 hours last seven days and then down here you have profit for the last week so this isn't even a full week yet I started this on Sunday and it is Friday right now so it's made quite a bit of money and it's made 0 0.07 Bitcoin in about five days so yesterday this has been going for 10 minutes for today so yesterday in the down market if you guys remember the crypto market was at like 600 something billion, pretty low 600 billion area. And obviously today everything's back up and doing fine, but in a down market is when you really test your bot and when you really test the settings and everything, because that's how you know if you're gonna get stuck in a bunch of positions and end up holding bags. And that was another question. A lot of people are asking like, what's bags? What's like the DCA log? What is the dust log? So I'm gonna go over that too. but. In a down market, you really test the bot. And luck, I wish I could show you because this is, if I would have done this video 11 minutes ago, I would have been able to show you yesterday's profit. But yesterday's profit, it still made about 30 something bucks, 38 bucks or so. And to me, that was a really good sign because everything was down. And obviously the bot found a few winning trades yesterday and it ended up succeeding. And that, that was really, it, it, was, it was a really good sign for me. I was like, wow, you know, I set this up correctly. Uh, the settings are all doing what they're supposed to do. Um, you will end up getting into a couple bad positions and I'll go over that. That's the DCA log. And I have one really bad position right now. And uh, that's something that each person is gonna have to assess on their own. So total current value, this basically you can hover over it and you can get you know, different idea of what everything means. So the current value of your pair coins, um, the difference between your current value and bot value. So I'm at the, with my pair log, 
I'm positive 14% today and it hasn't sold yet, which is why there's no profit here. Um, here's current value of your DCA coins. And so I'm at a negative 8.6% difference on my DCA coins in here. So I'm holding 15 positions right now and that's okay. That's, that's fine. That's exactly what you want the bot to do. You just don't want these to be holding for too long because that ties up your Bitcoin and things get, you basically just make less trades and the less, the smaller amount of trades you have, the less money you can potentially make unless you're in some really winning trades. So I'll go into that. Um, and then your sales log here, it shows you a, also this, this error comes up sometimes. Don't worry about it. It says have a beer and a smoke and it'll fix itself. And it's always fixed itself. So don't worry about that. Um, here we go. So sales log, I've made about 1.6% on all the sales that I've made. And that's, that's pretty darn good. That's, that's daily, right? Like that's, that's pretty darn good. So I'll go into the pairs log. So this is what I'm currently holding right now. And this is the coin versus BTC. And another thing is you guys can set this up to do uh, ETH pairs as well. So you could, you could trade with Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. And I believe Binance has a pretty good suite of uh, Ethereum pairs too. So that's something if Bitcoin is just flying really high, then it might be best to switch over to Ethereum or vice versa, right? You can kind of play the markets the way that you want to play them. And that's what, that's what I really like about Profit Trailer. So anyway, I'm holding BTG and the current price is 0 0.0161 Bitcoin. I purchased it, the bot purchased it at 0 0.015. So it's a profit of 6%. Okay, so that's what these mean. The trigger is when it will either buy more or sell more. So at this point, this coin will be sold off for a profit at 6.2%. If it launches past it, it's profit trailer, it will generally hold. So depending on what happens once it hits 6.2, um, it will decide what it's going to do, buy or sell. And and this is a great thing to see, these profits, right? This is something that you, you definitely wanna see the green, um, but you will see the red, you know, things don't go up forever. So here I'm sitting on a negative 0.17 and when it reaches 0.75%, it will sell for a profit. Same with all these. And like I said, it's profit trailer. So the reason this one didn't sell at 0.75% is because it kind of shot through it, right? It shot through the 0.75% range and then the bot reconfigures and it says, okay, well, the volume's high, the, the buyers are there. We're gonna keep trailing this thing and we're gonna try and juice it for as much profit as possible. So now we go to the DCA log and this is where you're gonna see a couple of really crazy numbers. So WTC I'm holding, okay, this is this is the DCA log. So what this means, the, the pairs log is what you're holding, what the bot has purchased, what, it, what you're currently holding, and then the DCA log is the same thing. These just ended up going in the negative. And so what this is called is dollar cost averaging. So on the way down, when a coin is falling, the bot is buying at increments on the way down, okay? So that way, what, what this is so good for in stocks and in crypto is when you're buying on the way down, the more you buy, the less it has to go up because you're averaging your cost. Say you buy at $100, you buy one share, and then you buy another one at $50, your average cost of purchasing is not a hundred dollars anymore. Your average cost of purchasing those shares is at 75 now. And then you buy again at $25 a share. Then now your average cost of purchasing those three is at $50. So the coin now only has to go up to say $51 for you to make a profit. So the more it's buying on the way down, the, the less it has to go up for you to make a profit. And the problem with the DCA log, if you don't have a large budget, is it really sucks up your money. So this one is bought five times on the way down and I'm at a negative 27% uh, 
ROI on this. So this one's a big loser right now and I'm holding this bag until it goes back up and that could take a while. So that's one of the problems with the DCA logs and you guys kind of just have to, if you don't like seeing this negative 27%, like no one does, you can go in and you can, can manually sell it if you want. You can go into um, Binance and you could sell it you, if you want to and then this will disappear or you can just wait it out and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait it out. Um, this, this coin took a big dump. And I actually have in my code, I, I listed a bunch of the, the pump and dump coins that I don't want to ever purchase. And this wasn't on my list. So either I missed it and it just got pumped and dumped. I don't really know anything about triggers. So um, I would have to do a little more research on that. But long story short, I'm going to hold on to this. It's crypto. It could take a week for it to go back up. It could take a month, but I'll hold on to it because I have the budget for it. I'm only holding 103 coins. It's not a ton. But same thing with these. So as you can see here, this one is kind of offsetting it, but not with as much dollar value, unfortunately. I have way more dollar value in Trig than I do in WTC, but this is at 102% gain because it's just been profit trailing all the way up. So that's something pretty awesome. So my average price was at 0 0.0008 and it's at 0 0.0168 now. So that's what the DCA log is. Um, pending log is just pending trades. Sale log, this is everything you've sold. So there's clearly a good amount of sales going on in here. And some of them are at pretty nice profits, $33. Um, there was one for $60 yesterday. I mean, there's there's been some, some good trades made. And then here in the dust log, the easiest way for me to explain dust is when you have less dollar value of the coins than it costs to send the coins, if that makes sense. So you have hardly any dollar value in coins and it costs more on the blockchain fees for you to send these coins out of your account. And that's just the way it is. Like these dust logs will ultimately get cleared. So I had different dust in here a few days ago and then the bot repurchased these coins these two coins and then it sold all of them off and one thing that I wanted to look into a little more I'll probably look into the code a little bit and kind of do a little research on my own is figure out why the bot would leave such a small amount of coins and just not sell them and the only thing I can think of is transaction fees and this is just what happens. And once you, you've sold X amount of coins, then you're, you're not able to get rid of them if you have 0.63 coins and say OMG is worth, you know, a dollar, but it costs a dollar, it costs like 50 cents to send your amount. It's, you don't have enough. You don't have enough to send it out there. You don't have enough to trade it. A minimum trading value is going to be, you know, maybe one coin, right? So you have to be, aware that these dust logs, I mean, they'll still appreciate in value. You're still holding them in Binance. So eventually you'll be able to get rid of them. And it's just unfortunate if you end up having a huge list of dust, maybe something's wrong in your code. But for the most part, my dust just disappears. So after a while, it will buy OMG again, and then it will sell them all off and it'll disappear. So I wouldn't worry about dust. Other than that, Let's see, what's next? Uh, okay, brief overview, profit trailer feeder, PT feeder. I will do a video on this. I've been extremely busy, so I will do a video on PT feeder um, in the coming days and give you guys an update on how that works and how it's been profiting me. You know, $1,000 in five days is pretty darn good. So um, especially this profit was during a pretty big downturn in not only Bitcoin, but Pretty much everything except Ethereum was rising during that downturn. So, I mean, we can look at this. We'll just do a seven day chart real quick. I mean, we were sitting at over a dollar and this is about when my bot was trading in here and um, not necessarily on Cardano, but this is just an example. It was, it was all the way down to 60, 50 cents, somewhere in there. It, it's performed 
So I'll do a video on, on feeder and explain what that does and I'll get into the log files and everything in the coming days. But until then, subscribe. Let me know if you liked the video, if it, it was helpful at all. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video for sure.